What's up guys and welcome back. We're here with a new campaign that I'm just kind of really showing off. It's the 1100 AD mod and it now has a campaign which you guys can uh, play. So uh, I thought I'd show it off. We're playing as France and um, there are four uh, playable factions at the moment. France is one of them as is I think the other ones are over here. Oh god. So you've got the Byzantine Empire here in uh, like Turkey and Greece. You've got Antioch in Syria, so they're like here. And then you've got the, I think it's the Abbasid Caliphate, the other ones you can play. Um, if I'm wrong on that, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, they're the four uh, available to play at the moment. And I was like, well, let's play as the French, the old rivals of the English who are over there. So my aim is to uh, just really show this off. If you're enjoying it, then um, I can keep this campaign going. Um, if I get, I say, 10 likes on this video, then uh, I'll carry this campaign on. Um, it won't be as a consistent one as, say, the other ones, but it will. Um, I'll keep it going. Um, like every so often, I'll uh, put up a video on this because it, it's an interesting mod and it looks fun to play. And I'd like to do a, a medieval sort of campaign, either a medieval two or a uh, well, or this sort of or this mod as a campaign. So anyway, let's get on with business. So Poitiers is not happy. So let's well, it's not getting bonuses and ha happiness anyway so let's give it a what catholic parson we could give it i guess and we could go down oh we can go down all sorts of things wow i could go down a monastery interesting i think i'll get yeah or musterfield or homestead or a gathering place actually we've got quite a lot of things that could be um no i think i'll i will get a, a catholic church in poitiers in Paris, we've got Musterfield. Um, we can get all sorts of things going on here. Pikemen, Frankish archers, Frankish light cavalry, Frankish spearmen. Um, okay, we're going to get, I think, probably a main square, possibly. That also helps in happiness. What's happiness? Oh, Paris has not got great happiness either. So I will get an outskirts here, which is not going to hurt the happiness yet. And we'll get a... We'll get a Catholic parson here as well. What does that do? We could get a civil settlement in in Le Mans. So I'll do that. I think my first aim, anyway, of expansion is to go after Brittany. Because Brittany is uh, is weak. Or the Duchy of Normandy. These two up here. And then we will come south because the Duchy of Aquitaine is next. I think some of these regions should possibly be under France at this point. Certainly, um, well, England should certainly have Le Havre. By 1100 AD, that's the only difference because obviously William the Conqueror's happened and you've got Normandy. I think that's right. And then, um, I think certainly Clermont should possibly be under the French. I'm not sure. Might need to rejig a few of these provinces, but um, it looks good to be honest. And then Troyes, County of Champagne, and Kingdom of Burgundy could be options. And the County of Flanders could be options. So we have two armies with the Giants of Hyperborea. Probably should change these names. I'm going to change them to something. Uh, different um let's make this who's this led by actually that's a point who's it led by just louis um i don't know we'll just change it to um i don't know we'll change it what could we change it to let's think of a name quickly um i don't know i'll just make it oh the grand army the grand army like in the Napoleon's French campaigns. Anyway, we've got plenty of money, four grand's worth. So we're going to produce uh, probably some light archers because we're not got any archers in this army. Ooh, we've got mercenaries. None of them are great. So I'll produce. I don't actually know how much I can produce. No, that's it. I thought so. So we'll get archers here. I'm going to move. Uh, Poitiers is going to have worse recruitment. Um, I'll move to here for now. So I can get the recruitment. Oh, like it's plus seven actually. From now, and it's not even got an army in it. Um, we'll do logistics and get better inf uh, better armies basically because we're okay on money at the moment. I'm gonna get crossbow. Oh, they take two turns and they cost a lot. Interesting. Interesting with crossbows. Um, and so do they. Why does everything here cost two turns then? That's interesting. 
Um, so only like lower tier stuff costs. It takes one turn. Higher tier stuff costs two turns. Hmm. Right. Well. Do I want to then just force march my way through to Le Mans and then start? I might do that instead actually. Force m my way through here and then... Ah, yeah, it doesn't actually... It's better to have not have armies in in uh, regions, which I'm going to start for, for now because I'm not at war with anyone. Um, do I want an alliance with anyone? Maybe the Holy Roman Empire. I give you welcome. Let's use but, yeah, we'll have a quick look at the map. So I can see the ki Kingdom of Hungary, I can see for some reason. So either it must be huge or, uh, I don't know. Kingdom of Burgundy like me at the moment. Um, they aren't certainly in my area of expansion yet, so I'll get trade with them. We have a non-aggression with them actually as well, so uh, we might want to just hold on to that. Do I have a non-aggression? Who do I have a non-aggression with? Brittany, I can imagine. No. Um, Dutch of them. County Provence. No. England, would you want anything? No. Um... Who knows? Anyway, I'll really name this army from the battle axes to the king's army. And I'm going to spell the king's army. I'm going to spend that spell that... Actually, no. Go on. We'll keep it like that. Army. And we could actually level everything up here, which we'll do. Get extra stuff going. Um, Do I want... Actually, would I want any mercenaries? No, probably not. Um, can I recruit any? Yes, I can recruit some spies. So we'll do that. Um, line of sight. I'll do get you. And we'll send you towards Brittany in a minute. So anyway, we'll end the turn. And we'll see what's happening. There are a lot of factions in this. And there's a lot to go through. Oh, we're nearly there. Wales is a thing. I just saw Wales. So... Yeah, look at all these. These County of Flanders. Um, no. Oh, they're at war with the Holy Roman Empire. Might be an idea to go to war with them. War declared, County Champagne and Flanders. So, yeah, it might be an idea to go after Bruges. With the Grand Army here. Um, uh, just upgrade what we can, please. Um, interesting. Might be an idea. I'm going to... I'll go into their land and have a look. So you got six plus five. Huh. Okay, well I'll waste a turn in doing that. They're not gonna move anytime soon. They're not even recruiting at the moment. Um let's send this spy that way. And that should be enough to be able to see everything in uh Brittany. Ooh. Army led by Alan! Alan! Ooh, British spearman. Are they, so they don't have their own unique eunuchs yet. Uh, noble swords. I think we could... And what have you got in garrison? You've not got any ships. I think we could possibly take that um, in a few turns' time. So we'll get some great axes and some light spears. And that should be probably enough to go through and take them out. So that we'll do that. Did I construct anything? No war declared. Trespassing. Yeah, I don't care if I trespassed. Who gives a damn? Um, so, yeah, we're building everything up. Poitiers is getting stuff. Clermont. Yeah, I think we could do it. We can just end the turn quickly. Go through everything again. So, um, I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, having great days at work or school. Whenever you're watching this. Um, oh, Britain, you want trade? No, I'm subjugating your lands. County of Flanders wants a defensive alliance and they offer some money. No, because you're at war with a lot of people. The French are clearly in high demand. Right. So, I mean, I'm going to... Clearly, it's you've got a... Oh, we've got an expansion here as well. Clearly, uh, lower tier troops are the best choice at the moment. Peasant, militia, Frankish, spearmen, pikemen. Okay. I think I'm going to go with a outskirts for now. What does outskirts allow me to get? It allows me to get a few things. Probably I'm going to need a something that's going to boost popularity here soon. Um, Catholic is going down. Germanic is going up, actually. That's interesting. 
Um, so that might not be the smartest move, actually. We'll get a Catholic Parsons going and get Catholicism going back up in this region. So I'm guessing someone over here must be Germanic of some sort. Oh, Catholicism here is doing quite well. I'm not quite sure why Catholicism lo looks like that. They could have just made it probably a cross. Um, that would probably done the job. But uh, we'll send you in. Could you have a sabotage with a 30% chance of sabotaging supplies? Why not? Don't get wounded. Oh, I told you not to get wounded. And what did you do? You foolish woman. Um, no, I'm not so fussed with that. I've got a lot of money. Just around. Can I recruit another general? Oh, let's have a look at the um, politics. That's something I've not looked at. So we've got Royal Dynasty, Protected, uh, Turns 18. And then this is the Papal Party and the Royal Dynasty. The Papal Party... Um, they're loyal to me, actually, so I'm not going to do anything against them. And go away, chat. Uh, don't care about that. I turned you off. As well, Louis is my heir. Well, I'd like to... I'd like him to get married. Oh, he's a bastard, actually. Maybe I don't want him to get married. You're my heir. Well... I kind of want to make Louis my heir. He's kind of... But um, apparently not. Educate. What does that do? Um, well, no, we won't do that then. Send a gift. Eh. I could secure promotion, organize games, send a diplomat. I could find your wife. I guess. Not a wife, a husband. Uh, another. <sighs> to be honest, who cares? Let's possibly could build another army up in... Um, In Paris, start a uh, papal party. Papal party. Why are you all papal party? Maybe not. Maybe I won't get another army yet. Um, are you recruiting up here? No, we're not. Let's recruit up here then. That's where we should be doing stuff. Frankish spearmen, please. Um, and I guess some archers. Archers are always handy. So there we go. And our money actually goes out quite quickly. To be fair, I'm saying we have lots of money. Uh, champagne. No, I kind of want to take you out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to make agreements with people around me that you're rightfully part of France. This is French land. I'm not quite... So, yes, we are... I think France should probably be a little bit bigger, but I'm happy to expand and take it all. Maybe France would be too overpowered if it um, got given, like, everything. I guess. What I'm trying to say is, yeah, if it had, like, everything... Uh, that it should have historically. It may be too overpowered and you'd just be like, well, what's the point in playing? Um, let's do... Interesting. So, everything has plus and minus. Quite a lot of pluses and minuses. So, like, melee defense is down and morale for all units in foreign territory. I'm going to go and do that. And it costs money now to... Oh, only 100. Oh, and then we get slightly more. But it's enough for me. I can afford it. So we've got the Grand Army is doing its thing. They aren't recruiting. That's something that's possibly a bug. So I think I can... Oh, I don't know, actually. Now it's a 12 garrison all of a sudden. Yikes. Maybe I can't take that out. But we've got um, temporary barracks. So we could get Frankish Light Cavalry or Pikemen and Frankish Archers and Slingers. Why well, can't we recruit Frankish Spearmen, I thought? Can I not? Yeah. So, what's the difference? So why would I want to get that one if I can get already get Frankish Spears? Unless I want Cavalry, I guess. I'm going to go with the Light Infantry Camp for now, because I don't really... Actually, I don't know, but do I want Cavalry? Do I, have, I don't have the option to buy Cavalry, and I don't really need Pikes. I'll go with Temporary Barracks. Um, we'll build a pike one there. There we go. Sort out that problem. Um, still building a Catholic Parsons. That's taken a long time to build. Oh my gosh. i just seen the... Um, wow. The garrison here is huge. 20 at Bordeaux. And they are recruiting though. So it's not broken. It's just that maybe Britain can't afford to build. Who knows. I'm going to push out to here. Um, and we will recruit... Could recruit crossbows. Probably do need more archers in this army, actually, but I haven't bothered buying any. 
Um, oh, they take two turns. Mm, I'm going to spam out a load of light spears and we're going to try and take it next turn. And then we can come back and we can always uh, re replace them. We've got lances in this army actually as well. That's interesting. They could be of handy use. Uh, no, we have no money left. So I'll end the turn again. Lots of ending of turns, but we need. To, I want to try and get through and try and expand this uh, kingdom as quickly as possible. Provence. <sighs> are you one region? You are. No, I, I don't. I'm sorry. You're just one c county. I'm going to take you out in about many turns time, but who knows? All right. Agent recovered, finally. Right, where did you recover? You're here in Poitiers. Uh, I'm going to send you down to Clermont. Right, so we've done a lot of recruitment this turn. We're still making 3,000. It's ridiculous. Um, I'm going to push on Nate's. I don't care if I've gone into your land. 12 light swordsmen. They're not even actually at full strength. So I should probably march and take them out while they're not. I could recruit mercenary spears, I guess. They are fairly cheap. Like, with the amount of money I have anyway, they're fairly cheap. Um, could recruit another... S oh, no, I can't. Do I just... The, oh, look at their upkeep as well, actually. Light spears cost nothing really to look after. I'm just going to keep getting Frankish spears. And we've got some Frankish light cavalry, actually, here. Actually, I might hold off on recruiting more and waiting until I can get some pikes and some other stuff. I don't know. I really like some swords as well. But I can't get any swords. Um, dish maker. Coin maker. A jeweler by far produces the most money, so I'll get that. Um, I probably need to do something about food production in a minute as well. Catholic missionary. Saint Benedictine, eh, Saint, Saint Benedictine Sanctuary. Get there eventually. Small convent. Um, I could do a small convent. Or church parish. No, it's not church parish. Catholic parish. Or Catholic missionary. Um... I'll do Catholic missionary. I'm not really sure. Um, that'll help. And then we need to do like need next bit of expansion. We need to do something about food. Poitiers, you're nearly there. Excellent. So you will be happy. And mains, also be we're looking good. And then next turn, I think we can take Nates from them. You could you do anything? You could actually probably sabotage that. Sabotage that. Get me get yourself some XP. Yes, excellent, right. Do you get anything for that? Oh, you're nearly there. Right, end the turn and we'll see what we can do. That might actually trigger Aquitaine to do some hostile stuff, I don't know. So many factions, but I'm really impressed. Hopefully most of these become playable. Because um, it'd be really, really good to play some of these other factions. Right, and have like some units. Um, some good available units. Right, I'm going to declare war on them. They're not got an alliance with anyone, so I'm going to siege them out. This apparently is going to be quite hard. Um, I'm going to just encircle for now. I might hire some mercenaries because we can afford to. I'm going to hire them. That brings my income right down. And it also... They're cavalry British raid uh, riders. Can't read. Uh, I do have... I say I outnumber them. I'm not sure I do. I'm going to encircle and just siege out for now. I feel like this is going to be the case quite often with a lot of these. I don't think you could assault because they're going with the whole idea of like a medieval siege. Which I get. I kind of like that. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to link. I guess I've got to take the half to link up these two areas. But 15. That is ridiculous as the size of that garrison. And then I say that Paris is 20. And they're, they're not even at full strength yet. Oh my gosh. It's pretty insane. I'm not going to lie. I think that's possibly something I'd bring down. Because garrisons aren't massive. And they're like... Paris didn't ne necessarily have a huge garrison. But um, like it was more like regions 
like Le Havre. And I mean, they don't have them on here, but like Khan would have had a uh, big garrison. And there's like, places like that surrounded Paris, so they didn't need to have a big garrison in the medieval period because it had like almost a wall of uh, defend well defended cities almost. From what I've read, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go with. I'm not really sure. Well, this is becoming like a an iron workshop, so I should probably go with the Saint Edmund. Uh, sanctuary because it actually gives more for industry so we'll go with that so that's going to take our food down a little bit um, still no moves being made how big's this where's that spy I kind of want the spy up here now to uh, have a look at the county Flanders so that's going to take a little while to get there hurry up get on with it we don't need to see you do that oh my gosh there's like a huge army in Burgundy being formed. I bet they're all low tier units as well because they're not going to be going for anything high yet. Um, I could get an auxiliary camp. What does an auxiliary camp allow you to get them? Um, I've gone down the wrong route to get an auxiliary camp in this one. But it allows you to get crossbows and riders with spears. This allows me to get Frankish swords and veteran swords. Oh, I think I've gone down the right one if I want to get for uh, for Paris. Yeah, see, I can already recruit these guys. I don't they need to sort that, that needs to be sorted out. In Paris, I can already recruit um, those units. So that's th so this temporary barracks kind of just with this unit here is redundant. That probably needs sorting out. Um, but yeah, I'll end the turn. That's the only problem I found so far. I mean, maybe large garrisons possibly a bit OP, but we'll see. If I struggle to take this uh, village, we'll we'll see. I have got it only on normal because I didn't really know what to expect. See, I'm already... I'll fight this and uh, we will see what happens, basically. I'm going to have to rely on some of these elite units that I brought along to win. So we're back with the battle. I just quickly cut so you didn't have to see the loading screen. Um, the enemy have chosen a terrible day to fight. So I'm going to start the battle. I'm going to rush these guys quickly because it's a really small army. And we want to rush them before their garrison arrives. Um, they, yeah, I mean the Breton, the Breton people couldn't choose a worse time to fight. I'm liking uh, how they look though. They look very cool. All in their white. Looks beautiful. Very nice. Very nice and fresh. I mean I'm in the blue though. The blue boys are going to come and kill you all. Oh, here they come. And I don't know if I can actually beat the. Oh, actually, apparently I can. Apparently, these are very low threat, so we're going to just deal with them. As and when. Uh, and then just send in this, these spears here. I've basically gone with a huge long line of my light spears. In behind that is just uh, all these elite. Well, not more elite units, but the, the better units, I'd say. Look at all these guys, these light spears. They're just. You're just cannon fodder. Nobody knows it, but you're just cannon fodder. Okay, here comes another unit. Um, keep killing them. Kill them, please. Yeah, I don't care. You, uh, oh, I think they're trying to get to my archers. No, well, they're dead anyway. Um, this core, well, we'll call it a core. It's not really this. Uh, un these units here can go off and do their thing. Um, you can actually go up and join them. Uh, keep breaking them. General... You're not finished. Okay, okay, we kill all their cav. Um, these units can go up here. Um, you come back here. Cavalry. I just want to kill the general. If we kill the general really quickly, then that's just GG. Uh, archers, please don't fire. <laughs> no. Just hold your fire. There's just so many guys in there. There's no way you're going to You're gonna hit your own... You're going to hit your own guys before you're going to hit any of uh, theirs. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, this line here is going to form like a buffer so I can just kill their general. And this is going to take all these guys because these are light spears. Nobody... Like, look at that. They just... That's taking forever to kill these guys. Um, I don't even know if these old guys are even... Got the command to kill. Just... Oh, and archers. You might as well come up. Uh... British spit. Yeah, we've got far too many guys probably occupied there. 
Um, cavalry? Well, they now have no cavalry, I think. So, and most of these spear, these guys are pretty awful. They're light swords, um, light archers. British spearmen, which I presume are just as bad as my light spearmen. So we'll deal with them accordingly, right? Uh, yeah, we're dealing, we're killing them nicely off now. Um, you go over there. You deal with them. You deal with these guys. Um, you deal with them. You deal with them. Uh, where's the cavalry? Can you deal with the archers that are kind of appearing now? Then we've got two units to go around the flank. Excellent. Right, so we'll deal with them. Archers. Uh, shoot these archers. One of our units gone berserk? Which units gone berserk? Oh, these guys. Long axes go berserk. Wow, I did not know that. Wow, okay, so, yeah, they're, they're, they're lost. <laughs> Brilliant, I did not know long axes did that. That's quite cool, though. I like that. Um, I like that feature. Um, you're going to need to go over here. Um, these guys are just berserk now as well. That's a problem. Um, right, you carry on past there. Is the general dead? No, he's not. Well... Uh, yeah, he's still not under control. We're routing these guys anyway, so that's what matters. Um, just going to the rear there. I don't know how many more long axes I want to really hire then. If they're going to keep doing that, because they're, they're still berserk. I'm not sure if I can bring them back under control. I'm just going to... I'm going to put that on them, see if that does anything. Um, archers... Shoot here, actually, now. Well, that's helped. We've just punched through their, like, front line. The men are wavering. Where? Oh, here. Wow, we're wait. Yeah, we are. Um, go into the rear here. Smash these guys in the back. I really could do with those uh, extra spears that are supposed to be somewhere. Oh, that'll help. Um, run these guys down. Yeah, that th those are berserk guys that they need to <laughs> they need to go really. They're not helping the they're not helping the French cause in the good just proper way. Um, yeah, go and help over here. I don't not quite sure how these ones haven't gone berserk. Oh, they 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 because they're Franco spears or swords. Sorry, that's why. Um, you kill them, kill them, and kill them. Um, run down these guys. Spears and go and kill these guys. How is this general still alive? Alan! I know you've got a great name and everything, but you should be dead! Oh, he's breaking now. All these light spears that I dedicated to killing this one unit, and there we go. Um, I'm going to continue because I want to kill every goddamn man that's on the battlefield. Um, chase him down, please. Um, can you chase? Because I don't really want you to, uh, and chase these guys down, please. Because there's so many of them left. Look at all these guys. The enemy general's dead, thank God. Uh, look at all these guys. I'm going to just speed this up. Uh, you don't need, don't need to really do much to do with that. Those long axes finally sort themselves out and aren't running away anymore. Yeah, just kill them. Kill all of them. Oh, they're going to the border. Don't allow it. Don't allow them to flee. There's some good units, I think, as well. Um, there's lots over there, actually, as well. Get that. That's 113 unit. But they broke so quickly. I'll get these guys, and then we'll call it call it a battle. Ride them down, my king. Ah, the king's army has his first victory, and onwards to more, hopefully. Uh, quick battle. Lovely. That's great. We've done that. So Alan's dead as well. And Philip the First will rule Brittany as much as he rules the rest of, well, a bit of France. Look how many men they lost. We lost very few. I shouldn't have been worried really about the size of their garrisons then. Garrisons don't seem to be too big a problem. At the mo early game anyway, if you can probably level them up, those garrisons probably become real big problems. So we're back on the uh, campaign map, and we have killed these guys off. I am going to kill all the captives because we are ruthless people of the French. Land reclamation is done as well, so we can now 
So that's going to give us a few minuses, but we're not too fussed about that. Our men are so strong that we don't even care. Attrition, we lost 29 men. I think that's not the end of the world. We still lost less than 500 in the battle and in that fight itself. Though my Frankish swords got pretty beat up. I didn't realize that. Um, 96. Aggressive stance. And there we go. Nate's is now ours. Excellent. It'd be um, quite interesting to see. And the faction destroyed. Dutch New Brittany. Yes. It has been. It'd be quite interesting to see whether um, the modder... I'm asking a lot. Like, after he's done with this, we'd do, like, almost like a mini-game of, like, the... Ver of the um, like for a certain region like France and you could do like the Hundred Years War. I know that's after 11, 8, 1100 AD but you could do something like that or maybe like England and like a civil war or something like that. It'd be quite interesting. There's loads of possibilities obviously what to do because history is so vast. Commander, um, I'm gonna go with Commander. Um, and then we will do, there's one over here I'd spied that I kind of wanted to do. Um, well maybe I hadn't. Maybe I didn't spy it. Uh, this one, tax labor. I wanted to get more growth going, so we can build more stuff. Right. So this has also has a. Um, oh, okay. So barracks actually you don't want to have lots of because it actually does damage your expansionism. Interesting. Well, fishing port would be kind of helpful. Um, shipwright. Would also be helpful. I'm gonna go with a fishing port because we kind of need it for the money, or for the food. Sorry. Um, and we are going to. I don't know what I want to do with this. Don't know if I really want to build anything. Why are they not? Res um, our oh, recent events. Ah, okay, so due to recent events, they will not uh, basically get any more. Uh, won't replenish this turn. Okay, need to keep that in mind. Right, so. Grand Army here not doing much. Where could I go for Lahav actually? Would it be more beneficial to go to Lahav because then we joined up all this region in the north. And then we've also got this whole region of Gaul, Gaul as it's still been called. It should be probably should rename them to like France and um well this could be just like low countries. That could be France or central France. Well, actually, it could be France. This could be Aquitaine, which it is anyway. Aquitania kind of works. Um, yeah. Britannia, that that works. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it looks like we are okay. I want to see if we can trade with anyone quickly. Oh, and this County of Toulouse. I kind of want to take all these guys out. Aragon and Castile, though, I'd be interested in getting a non-aggression with one of you. I'll get it with... Kingdom of... No? Apparently, we, no one likes us enough. So it's only maybe going to be the uh, Kingdom of Burgundy that will give me anything. Which is kind of okay. I'm fine with that. I want to expand into these other regions and take them out. Um, can I force march the King's Army anywhere? No. I'm going to keep those mercenaries for now, because they're actually kind of handy to have. They cost a lot at the moment, and we can replace them when we get better troops. So I'll end the turn one last time to see out the episode. And then, uh, if you guys, like I said, if you guys want to see any more, then uh, please let me know with a like or a comment. Um, as like I said, 10 likes and we'll do another episode of this. Um, and no, I'm not taking your trade. I'm going to come down and kill you in a couple of turns time. That... What you just saw in Brittany, that's what's going to happen to the rest of France. Including Burgundy. Burgundy, you're going to die. Come as of age. My son has come of age. Where? Oh, this guy. He came of age. He's just another... He's of other... Other nobles. Well, can I... Can I... Adopt? Oh, I can declare heir. Declare heir who will inherit the dynasty. You're my current heir. I presume you're a male. I kind of want to make it that flip, Philip, though. There we go. You're now my heir. 
I don't know who you are. You're older as well. You're the oldest, uh, like, legitimate heir. Um, and... I don't know what else. Actually, I could find this guy. Uh, I can't, actually. And I can't marry you off to anyone. Okay. Let's just quickly have a look, and we'll see if there's anything going on over here. Okay, I bet there's a huge garrison. Oh, no, it's not, actually. Ooh, I'm tempted to march in there. What can we recruit in the way of mercenaries? Oh, a lot of expensive things again. Um, maybe not anything here. But we've got a lot of archers in this army, which we need to keep an eye on. Um, I'll get some light spears. We'll get three light spears. Um, that's plenty. And then I might get rid of this for now. I don't really need another guy. Uh, especially not one here. Don't need one there. 18 that would give me. It's ridiculous the amount of garrison that gives. 18. Jeez, I don't know where the rest is even coming from. Because that's... Actually, it's probably all coming from there. Just realized that's uh, 13, 15. Then, yeah. Yeah, that is that is insane. But that is where we're going to probably end, wrap up this episode. Guys, if you've enjoyed this 1100 AD campaign, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll do some more um, of it if I, uh, if I have time. And if I fancy doing more, I am enjoying it. I'm really liking it. The mod, um, big uh, well done to the modders. They have done an excellent job here. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys.